So with all the compression we have built in here, say 11 compressors on this particular console, we are now able to produce a professional sounding product. You know, you listen to a CD or watch a program on TV and you think, well, that sounds great. Why can't our system sound like that? Uh, but the work that's involved in getting to that point, all the compression channels, the, all the expertise, each channel of compression taking four, five, six knobs to make that occur is not something we can duplicate in a church. We don't have the personnel nor the budget. So on the Sanctuary Series, we've solved that with a couple of buttons. How do, uh, knobs. How do we do that, Tom? The way that we do that is that we preset a lot of the controls that are in the compressor for the specific application. We take common settings for voice and apply that to the auto-mix uh, channels. Mm -hmm. For music, on the music subgroups, we've optimized those compressors for that application. So with speech, if I have a pastor who, say, for instance, is very soft and very loud, that pastor's voice coming off the PA, uncompressed, is going to be distracting, wouldn't it? You'd be yeah. straining to hear, and then it would be too loud. Either that or you've got to have a real, real fast operator at the console right. that is uh, running the slider up and down in order to keep it under control. They're never fast enough, right. and it's distracting. And the compressor takes care of that. Fast and automatic. Excellent. And then in our music channels, we have different compression. Is that correct? That's correct. The uh, uh, music channels for uh, uh, singers and so forth in particular, a little bit of compression on uh, singing gives that professional sound. So with the compression on the singing channels, so on my solo mic, something like that, mm -hmm. it just gives that nice edge that makes it sound like it came off of a TV program or off a very well-done CD. It does that, and it makes it easier to mix. Excellent.